The disaster had begun a year earlier, in April of 1815, with the eruption of Mount Tambora in the Dutch East Indies, today's Indonesia. Tambora exploded with a force more than a hundred times greater than Mount St. Helens, sending a column of fire and ash 25 miles into the sky. Entire villages were incinerated. The blast was heard as far as 1,200 miles away, louder than any cannon, louder than war itself. The immediate death toll was staggering, over 70,000 in the region. But the eruption's true impact stretched far beyond Indonesia. Tambora hurled millions of tons of ash and sulfur dioxide into the upper atmosphere. There, above the clouds, the particles spread like an invisible shroud, wrapping the globe. The effect was subtle, but profound. Sunlight itself was dimmed. Scientists today call it a volcanic winter. For those alive at the time, it felt like the very seasons had been broken. By late 1815, people were already noticing signs. In Europe, sunsets turned blood red and violet, painted with unnatural colors. In the United States, a lingering haze covered the sky. A Connecticut farmer wrote in his diary, the sun was dark and discolored. Its light was not so brilliant as usual. It gave no heat, as though its power were diminished. Most dismissed it as odd weather, no one suspected the world was about to endure one of the harshest years in modern memory. If you'd like to learn the full story of the summer of 1816, then check out the full documentary on the Historical History Channel. Link is attached to this video and the description below.